What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Black Sales, Season 3, Episode 1. Oh boy, we are coming off of one of the best seasons of TV that we have seen. Yes. The action, the story, everything about that season was just so insane and epic, and I just cannot wait to see where they go with Season 3. I mean, just so How much drama. Top all that? Like, seriously. Like, it just seems so insane with everything that we've got going on. Flint is now all the way in. Miranda got killed. He got saved by Captain Vane. It's just... Also nuts. <sighs> so nuts. It, it just seeing how... Like, seeing them work together after everything that we've seen them go through up to that point was just... Right. They work together so well. They do. When, you know, when they have a common goal. Yeah. They were just, perfect. They're, they're both so badass. And when they were on the same page, it just clicked. It all worked. Yep. And they absolutely destroyed Charlestown and <laughs> unbelievable. Just unbelievable. And of course, John Silver is now in a position where he continues just to end up in these spots where I don't think he intends to end up in them. No. But. I mean, look, he means so much to so many of those guys. Yeah, and it's it's like the last thing. Like, from all the conversations, it's like the last thing that he's wanted. Yeah. He got voted quartermaster. He actually, for the first time, I believe, you know, fact check me on this. He said, my men, for the first time in that finale. And it's like one of those things where I feel like things are finally starting to click for him. And the way, like, he got all jacked up, John Silver has now one leg. But it's one of those things where they kept showing their support for him. They're like, we're not going anywhere. We're going to be here with you. We're going to support you. Yeah. And I think that message finally kind of took. But at the same time, he's in a really, really tough pickle right now. Because he's now a quartermaster with Flint. But he's got a deal on the other end. <laughs> with Captain Jack and that crew yeah. who just brought back all that Urca gold and just seeing Max's face just light up with not just her smile, but the gold shining off of it was just bonkers. And I, I just, I have no idea how this is like, I, we talked about it in the last video for the finale. You could just think of like really basic kind of storylines of how this might play out. But you know they're not going to go the simple basic route. It's going to be something crazy. It's going to be something amazing. But I just can't wait to see how all of these things kind of start coming into play. Yeah. Because Silver revealed a very convenient story, kind of twisted the truth. Yeah. About the why gold. Why would you, you know, implicate yourself? Right. Everyone, you everyone on the ship is dead who knows the truth. So he's in a really good spot there. But... Uh. We'll see. What about when you get home? <laughs> yeah, we'll see where that goes. But just Flint, Flint had that look in his eye. We was like, who the fuck did they sell it to? Right. And it's like, oh, damn, this is about to be a yeah. really big problem. Yep. And not only that, but Eleanor has been kidnapped and taken away. And she's no longer in the equation. I don't know, like... The information got back to everyone, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I don't know how the hell they're going to get her back. Or, like, Flint didn't it doesn't se seem... He doesn't seem concerned. <laughs> it didn't seem like a priority at that point. No. He was just kind of, like, casually just talking. Oh, yeah, by the way, she got taken. And this happened and this and that. And I don't know how she gets out of that scenario. Calling her the Queen of Thieves is... I mean, again, that's a pretty epic nickname. But that's probably not a good label considering the new world wants the whole pirate thing just completely eliminated. So yeah, Vane, Flint, Silver, just <laughs> like all of these folks together. And just, I think they're all gonna be really mad in their own right. And again, we keep talking about it. Every single one of these individuals have so much at stake, right. which is why I feel like this show is just so powerful in terms of the story. And the dialogue's amazing. Like, yeah. some of the conversations and just all of that is just so epic. But it's like everyone's got so much at stake. And you could feel it between everyone who's got just millions and millions, maybe even billions of dollars at stake here. Yeah. And <sighs> what's going to happen when they roll into Nassau and Jack's got all this gold and... 
Where do you stick this? I mean, how do they... I don't even know what the reaction is going to be like from the people on NASA. Be like, wouldn't you kind of revolt and try to, like, steal what you can? Like, pirates. Hello. Yeah. Like, Jack's crew's not that big. I mean, unless they, it's, like, spread it around. It's just going to be one of those things, like, they've got a Spanish warship that obliterates things. What the hell's going to happen? I can't wait. You ready to jump into season three? Yes. Let's go. Anchor. It's like having this gold back in play is going to... I love this. I get, this looks amazing. I just feel like Flint's going to be so unhinged at this point. Yeah, I mean, he does. He has to give zero fucks now. He doesn't have to give up. Oh, Carolina. Carolina. Bath Carolina. He doesn't have to give up the Flint persona. He I mean, just he has to wants, fucking go for it. The sad thing is that he wanted to. I know, but he has nothing There's no for reason, now. Yeah. Oh, is this who has Eleanor? That's one of my assumptions. Who are these folks? Um... Him? You're Drummond. Mary's your wife. Mary's our sister. Oh. We came from Williamsburg to make sure that you honored your vows to her. End of today. Either you're gonna be her current husband or her late one. Oh. What did he do? Sorry, there's some place I have to be. You are coming with us. I mean, those are some good brothers. <laughs> Any promise made beside the word forever is no more than a lie agreed upon. There is no forever. Everything moves towards its end. The closer we get to ours, the louder that clock ticks, the less a sane man would let a promise deprive him of happiness. This dude is super interesting so far. I explained all this to Mary, who told me she understood and that she would not protest our separation. Are you calling my sister a liar? Oh. Those eyes. That's well, a dope shot. You're here. I can think of at least three lies she must have told you to bring that about. <laughs> oh, shit. I imagine she told you I retired from a prosperous trade to settle with her here. But what she likely did not mention is that that trade was high seas piracy. Second. She told you my name was Drummond. Uh -oh. But when I plied that trade, I was called Teach. And third. She clearly Ooh. led you to believe that you could point This sounds I think I've heard this story in Knights of Rodanthe. Survive the experience. Oh shit. This too was something less than the truth. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh don't fuck with that guy. Hello? I think I've heard about the pirate teach. It's something about the lights that that come up. We'll talk about an intro into this damn show. <laughs> what? Dude, that fucking guy looks terrifying. Fuck, yeah, he does. It's like, you know how I know your sister was lying? Here's one, two, and three reasons why. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to kill you too. Yeah. Dude, that guy, Teach? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, welcome to the show, Teach. Captain, T I'm gonna assume Captain Teach. Wow. I can't see shit. But that house, oh no, it's on a fire. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Dude, what in the hell? Who the fuck are these guys? All these new people. Oh god. Or oh, not new people. Fucking Flint, dude. Oh, he shaved his head. You are the magistrate here. Their magistrates hanged men for piracy. They all receive visits from me. Oh, shit. The word went forth. Any capital sentence served against a pirate would hear my answer. You must have known. You must have heard. And yet you chose to hang those three men in your square. Why? Yeah, 
This dude. Oh, shit. If I let my fear of you prevent me from enforcing the law, then civilization in this place is dead. Oh, shit. I also know that most of those other magistrates you visited, they were corrupt men. I wagered that despite all I'd heard about you, your mercilessness, your cruelty, that you could tell the difference, that you could see I was an honest man. Oh, ah! shit. Okay. Oh, sh he don't give a fuck. Flint don't give a fuck. That whole unhinged thing. Yeah. This dude's running around friggin' oh, oh shit. Just wiping out anybody who has anything against a pirate. Yeah. Who has acted out and hung is pirates. He, is he having flashbacks of Miranda? Yes. <sighs> Miranda. This is already so intense. He's sad. He's sad and he's angry. Mm-hmm. I don't know if angry is the right word. He's angry. I feel like it's way beyond anger. True. Look at him, looking all... Is he done? It looks like we got it a good haul out of it. He looks like a full-on... He's in. One of the guys. He's getting worse. He's fine. I'm sure of that. He just faced a band of colonial regulars out there. He's entitled to a mood. <laughs> Seriously, John Silver looks like a full-blown pirate now. I like it though. I like I like the facial hair. It's like if you can't beat him, join him. You just couldn't get away. Is it her? Right where she's supposed to be. Bring us alongside. His men are jumping ship. They aren't his men. There's cargo. When Jack asked me to hunt her, he said she was hauling timber. Said the supplies were badly needed for fort repairs. I don't remember him saying anything about slaves. When Jack asked him to what? Wait, what happened? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, please save those people. Oh, my God, he's getting them. Oh, my God. Those poor people. <laughs> Fucker, it didn't work, you dick. Hopefully he got his brown pants on, because... He needs to wear, be wearing red pants. Oh, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like Bane knew he was going to miss. <laughs> you know who I am. What you cannot know is where I come from. What I once was. If you knew that, I imagine you would have made different choices today. Fucker. Get him. It's like, is that your pit? Is that your pit? Seriously. I've been making that joke for a long time now. Vane walks into a fucking room. <laughs> Ooh, he sunk him. Just sunk him. When Captains Flint and Rucker made their pact those months ago, settled their differences oh. over the possession of the Urga Gold. Oh. They asked me to oversee the restoration of the fort to ensure Nassau was protected. But without the men to do the work, there is no progress. The fort remains compromised and we are all exposed. And since Captain Vernon's crew walked off the site, there's been little to no labor provided to me at all. They made a deal. Is Jack, like, in charge now because he is in the possession of the gold? I mean, Max is definitely looking like a boss right now. I don't feel like Max is up for this. I just feel like everything has gone haywire. Like everybody's just free to do whatever they want and that's just not the way it could be no run. No order. Yeah. Oh, he's all fancy now. <laughs> this dude's got his own personal musician playing for him. Well, he goes to poop. Why ain't there anyone up at the fort? What are you waiting for? I'm working on it. Jack Rackham is not lazy. Jack Rackham is not stupid. Jack Rackham is not blind. And Jack Rackham is not unaware that currently there are no men working on that fort. Don't treat me like I'm someone else. I'm on your fucking side of this. Same as I've always been. Jack! Oh, shit. Everything stops when Vane walks in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like... Can't walk quietly with that thing. Your days of approaching unannounced are behind you. <laughs> I 
Resigned Mr. Dobbs off the vanguard, as you asked. I told him his skill in the rig was too valuable to risk putting him in harm's way. But now that that's sorted, there is another replacement on the vanguard that we should discuss. You. These raids were difficult enough when the element of surprise was in our favor. Now it would seem your days of approaching unannounced may also be at an end. Right back at you. <laughs> Every time you go ashore, I am suggesting it's time we take you out of harm's way as well. We're fighting a war to protect NASA. A war in which our most effective weapon is the fear that we can instill in our enemies. You succeeded in making Captain Flint the name of grim death to all of them. The only way that we can ensure that that story continues is if he is the one telling it. That story is telling itself, and you know it. But I am talking about letting someone else stand in and play your role now and Thank again. Thank you for your concern, but I'll decide when it's time to start altering our tactics. No, I'll decide. This crew has spilled a great deal of blood to make your name what it is. It doesn't belong to you. It's a jointly held asset belonging to every man on this crew who sacrificed some part of himself to build it. That's a good point. They yeah. have a say about how it is managed and I am the voice of it. They are adapting and it is of some concern to me that you either cannot or will not acknowledge it. Shit. I understand. This is all incredibly personal to you after the loss of Mrs. Barlow. No, wait a minute. And I understand the burden of playing the role you currently play must be taking a toll. Even you cannot fully comprehend. Stop. Dude, this is intense. You have wormed your way into the heads of the men out there. And they've granted you authority over them because of it. But in my head, you're not welcome. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. You couldn't figure out how to repair the fort, so you lured me into capturing a ship full of slaves to do the job. Oh, that's what they did. What the fuck made you think I would just hand them over to you, knowing what you know of me? <laughs> the three of us stood in this room, you, Flint, and I, and we agreed that the fort's restoration was critical to Nassau's security. We agreed you would hire men to restore it. I tried that! Then you're going to need to try harder! How? I offer the men exorbitant wages to do the work. Do you know what they say? You can afford more. We want double that. All right, double it. It's a deal. Fuck it. Do you know what they say? Then you can't tell us what to do. We're free men. We'll work when we please. Would you like to take a guess how that is going? Hundreds of men. Untold thousands in wages, and I swear to God, I think that hole in the wall is bigger now than when we started. I stood between you and him, Jack. When Flint was ready to wage war against you over the gold, I was the one who said you would manage it as well as anyone could. For the good of this place, I was the one who said you could be trusted. Why? Why did you stand behind me? I'll tell you why, because you and I have been through enough shit for you to know that I would do the same for you. I made a commitment to you, with you, to restore this place and make it strong again. I see no other way to have it done. And I will have it done. I will move heaven and earth to have it done because I refuse to let you down. Just a little deceptive in terms of how we were getting there. Hmm. These days, any man who can sew a black flag and get 10 fools to follow him can take a prize. They can take it because of the fear that I and men like me have instilled in their prey. But they can't do what I can do. They're not built for it. And sooner or later they'll be exposed. <laughs> Dude, Flint is really scary right now. Really? This war is getting more dangerous. The strong among us must stand together and face it. But the fools and the pretenders, they were never truly among us to begin with. Ooh, is he throwing shade right now? <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to be a good idea. I, I don't know about this, guys. This is so sketchy. No damage, no long boats, no one on board. This shit makes me nervous as hell. Oh, shit. Shackled to the chair. Oh shit. Oh shit. The whole crew, every man, all the sides are marooning, and they go to this much effort to do it in deep water rather than keeping the ship and leaving him ashore. Why the fuck would they do that? 
We need to get out of here. Get out of here now. Dino! Get us on the way! Oh shit, it was a fucking trap. British colors. Oh Yikes. shit. She's a hunter. There ain't 50 guns, maybe more. Fuck. Thanks a lot, Silver. I'm a fighter. Behind the wind, barely a broadside worth a shot on hand. We won't stand a chance. We may not have a choice. Holy shit, dude. They marooned that captain, though. Left him there as a trap. <laughs> Does that teach? Mm, I don't know. When you first opened that door and showed me the echo gold, do you know what I saw? The solution. The mortar that would secure the sand beneath our feet. Everything is dependent upon that gold, and right now it is sitting in a fault with no guns and full of holes. Has it not occurred to anyone that if Jack has not been able to persuade men to repair the fault, it is even less likely he will be able to persuade them to defend it? <sighs> yeah. The gold must be removed from the fort, whether Jack wants it or not. You're getting awful close to doing the one thing you said you never do. Don't ask me to take sides between you and him. There's a reason it's up there in the first place. There's no other place to put it and secure it. Not in its current form, no. What? What are you gonna do with it? How are you gonna flip it into what? It's like, do you sit and wait for them? Think I'll take it. I don't care. Make the guns ready. Oh, you son of a bitch. These guys need to fucking fail, okay? This is some bullshit. There'll be no battle today. The disadvantage is too great. But what price surrender to beg forgiveness from a thing that took my woman from me? My friend murdered her, displayed her body for their amusement. I can walk away from this fight if I just sign my name beneath a solemn oath. Never again to do violence against it. No. He's so scary. Not after all it has taken from me. <sighs> this guy. He said I Not after violence. all it has taken from you. I will do great violence against that thing. <laughs> Are you kidding Get me? Get it, sir. They say they will pardon us all. Fucking liars, right? Right? And I say to offer to pardon something one fears is the act of a coward. To offer them in volume <laughs> suggests that their fear of us is becoming unmanageable. That we have shown them what we are capable of and it terrifies them. <laughs> Dude, Flint is like when you, next you level want to horrifying. Men who fear you. Lay down arms in a battle that we are winning. God damn, he's good at these speeches. <laughs> yes, dude. Not today, Satan. Neither do I. Fuck Benjamin Hornigo. <laughs> <laughs> and their pardons. Are we trying to sink a battleship this war right now? Isn't nearly over. Oh, bitch. Dude, he looks so fighting. angry. And we're not surrendering, so what are we doing? We're going that way. It's a ship killer. Then he'd be mad to follow us into it then, wouldn't he? What? Dude, when Flint has that snarl and that little lip twitch thing, I don't want to be anywhere near him. Mm -hmm. Or I want to be his best friend. <laughs> Dude. Prepare to head up and bring us into position to fire. Seriously, fuck these guys. This is so good. What this... the hell is he doing? He'll end up in the middle of that storm. I love that he helps. Flint is in there fucking turning the wheel too. Let's do this shit. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Captain Hughes, 
said it took him every ounce of leverage he could muster to secure just ten partners. Now Hornigold holds eighty of them. Maybe someone else secured for him. And was right about one thing. This is only the beginning. Something else is coming. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, there is a barrister who feels entitled to say, I am the one who convicted Eleanor Guthrie. A judge who wants to say, I was the one who hanged her. A throng of people outside. I was the one who cheered as she swung. <laughs> they all feel entitled to a part of your story, and it's a hell of a story. So you can imagine how difficult it was for me to arrange it so that I could say, I am the one who set her free. Who the fuck are you? My name is Woods Rogers, and I am the next governor of New Providence Island. Assuming I can subdue her. Oh, he thinks he's gonna take it over? <laughs> to begin with, a list. The names of those on the island who could be made allies. Those who would be harder to sway. Fuck you, is what she's gonna write. Watch. Um, I want to civilize NASA. That is the only name you need to concern yourself with. As long as he is alive, you cannot succeed. Oh, Flint. Or Vane. Or Vane. Bane feels terrible about this because he was a slave once. Yeah. That wasn't the plan. No. For all these other fuckers and greedy little shits. I feel like if Jack was a stronger leader, Jack. people would work for him. Yeah. It isn't the violence. It isn't the labor or the hunger or the heat or the chain. You know what those men feel right now? It's the unknown. Lash that comes from nowhere. For reasons never explained. The visit from the Taskmaster in the dead of night. But I remember that fear. Right now, I feel it returning. Shit. What we're doing here? Sitting on Spain's gold on England's island. It demands a response. What that response will be. What form it will take. What face it will wear. By the time we do know it, there will be no time to prepare for the blow that follows. Wow. So she's gonna betray Vane. Again. Again. This is Teach, though. I wonder if you can help me locate an old friend of mine. His name is Charles Vane. Uh oh. Was that uh, his slave master or something? That wasn't him, the dude that we met already. I don't know. No, no, right, but like, did, was that like some long line of. I mean, he was. I feel like he's connected. To the stuff that Eleanor is dealing with. I don't know. I feel like the, that's connected because of where we met him. He was in the Carolinas at the beginning of the episode. Right? It was Carolina? Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling all this stuff is connected in an attempt to wipe out the pirates and take over Nassau. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's one episode. I mean, it, they they laid down a foundation of just holy shit in this first episode. It's pretty uh I mean pretty good word for it, I think. Yeah, I mean I, I'm kind of at a loss right now just because of everything that we just witnessed. It's it's not at all what I was expecting in terms of what was gonna play out with the gold. I really did not expect Flint and friggin' Jack to come to an agreement with Vane also in on that party with with friggin Vane defending Jack where it ultimately puts Jack in charge like when i heard Vane be like yeah Jack Jack sent us out here i was like wait what yeah they're agreeing like, it's like what agreement that was that was a shock like everything else in this episode that kind of just caught me off guard because there was no way in hell i would have ever thought under these circumstances that Flint would, one, agree to that, two, Vane would ever look at Jack as the captain, like, doing missions and jobs for him. I, I, I guess when you're the like, one and secure of all the gold, I guess no one's going to be aggressive towards him. Well, also, how many shares has that gold been split into? I, I mean, it, it's crazy. I mean, it feels like things are just out of just complete whack right now. Mm -hmm. Just total chaos on the island of Nassau because I think it's pretty clear Jack's not a strong leader. He's not. He's kind of let that prize consume him and 
Looks like he's shifted a little bit, at least publicly. He's presenting himself like he's got his own person playing him music while he's on the shitter. Like, he's living the high life now, and I feel like he's, like, he was already kind of soft, but I feel like he's kind of gotten a little bit even softer with the whole circumstances and the fact that no one wants to work for him. No one wants to, like, they're like, well, give me more money. Instead of being like, no, motherfuckers, go do the work. They don't fear him. Like, if it was Vane in that position, I feel like they would get the fort built. Correct. (laughs) Like, very quickly. Because there'd be a level of fear. Like, you're not scared of Jack. Mm -hmm. Even if he is rich. I mean, I'd be more scared of Anne (laughs) than Jack. Yeah. But that whole situation kind of threw me for a loop. Because that's not what I was expecting coming into this season. I thought we were going to almost get, like, a civil war amongst the pirates. But at the same time, at the same time, I feel like they all see the bigger picture here that they all need to work together to fight this new world battle. So it kind of like, it makes sense, but it wasn't necessarily what I was expecting. Right. Because we've already seen Flint open fire on the fort at the detriment of everything that he was working towards. So I don't know. It was, it was not what I was expecting, but it does make sense. But damn, we got this new dude teach. Yeah. This dude is like he came in hot. These <laughs> his ex-wife has three big ass brothers. Did. Did had had. And he they just They are no more. Took them out with ease. It wasn't there wasn't a level in fear of in that dude's actions or his voice like he didn't even have to turn around. I mean until he had to shoot him, but And like, now he's looking for Vane, which Vane's a total badass. I, and we've seen Vane handle himself very well in most of the most intense situations. But what is what is what do they need to talk about? Yeah, what are, what is being presented here? And the whole Eleanor situation. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> shitty. Like, I mean, she'll do like again. She has so much flint in her because not literally. Hey-o. But <laughs> because she'll literally do whatever she needs to do to get herself out of it. She's like, "You want a name? Cool. Here, this is the only name." But you're you not going to get anywhere if he's still alive. Yeah, this is that's crazy. This because... is the only name you need. I thought she was going to like write a fuck you, but she needs to get out of there, and she still has shit to accomplish. But can we talk about Flint? Well, I mean, first, but first off, how is she going to accomplish anything with Max? Oh well, I. Pfft. That's all. It feels like if if Eleanor is creating this alliance, I don't think she's gonna have to worry about Max. I, I feel like she's putting herself in a really, really strong position. To I don't know what her future looks like, but in terms of getting out of the situation she's in now, I don't know. Like, it's gonna be interesting to see how that whole situation plays out and where that even goes, right. and who's actually working together. Because I'm just making guesses about the whole whoever I forget his name already, the dude that Eleanor made the deal with and and teach. I feel like uh, they're Woods. I feel like they're all kind of on the same page. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see that play out. But Flint, he's on a whole nother level right now. We talked about him being unhinged, and it's like it's so beyond. I mean, but like. He's so scary. Yes, but like unhinged in a... Very focused and calculated yes. way. Yes, so I'm like, he's not unhinged like a fucking crazy dude. He's unhinged like, yeah, calculated and focused. Yeah, like I have a lot of people to murder and I'm going to go fucking do it and I'm going to slaughter all of them. That like conversation with the dude that he shot where he was like, I know you could recognize it. I'm a good dude. Boom, dead. And then kills his wife. He's <laughs> mm-hmm. Decent- <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Like his, he like, I cut my hair, I am focused, and he is so scary right now. Like, this dude is turning into one of my favorite characters. Absolutely. His speeches, and his like, another one, just, <laughs> he's got like, I don't even know how many at this point, but that one is so, so good. good. His dialogue, and his delivery, and just, like, his facial expressions just say so much. I'm he's with got the that little head and stuff. He's got that little twitch in his mouth, like back. I'm like, back up, back up. I don't want any part of Flint at all. 
<laughs> that dude will just friggin' he's a savage. But he can rally the troops. <sighs> oh. He's he's the best motivational speaker around. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like they were literally in a situation that he verbally said, We can't win. You need him like, at all of your, like, corporate team seriously. building events. If there's ever a down moment, he'll motivate you. He'll get you up. <laughs> he'll get you ready for the most ridiculous and horrifying moments and make you feel good about it. Totes. And John Silver's got a, a peg leg now, and he's got, like, full control. I mean, Flint, They trust him. Like, you can kind of tell Flint's just kind of like, well, you kind of fucked that up. <laughs> like... <laughs> He's like, you ain't in my head, buddy. I'm not gonna let that happen. But that was, that was a hell of a first episode of the season. Agreed. There's, like, like we talked about, just a completely unpredictable kind of new threat, a new element to this whole story. Just the whole story in general about even like the alliances and agreeing and Jack being in charge and all. Like everything about this show is just. Such the opposite of cookie cutter. Yes. Like you can't predict or have any expectations because you're going to be wrong. <laughs> so just that was a fantastic start. I love this story. I love where it's going. I think it's just going to keep getting better and better because they've proven to us that that's the case. So yeah. Any other thoughts? Not really. <laughs> can't wait to see episode two. Yes. All right, y'all leave your comments down below. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.